Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Canadian Dollar Tree haul. And some coffee and one of my favorite, let's not spill it, winter mugs from the Dollar Tree. They do have these back this year. If I didn't already show it to you, which I might have. I've been collecting mugs. Mm, so good. Hi, Alex. Hi, baby. Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. I was just feeding my neighbor's cat. His name is Fritz. He looks just like Wellington. And he was sitting on my lap. You want to come up or no? Okay. So I went to Canada. If you're on my Facebook group, you saw that my car unfortunately got broken into. And most of the stuff I bought at this antique store was taken. Ow. I just got a splinter. Except for this stuff. So I'll show you what I picked up at the antique store. I got... Now this is at, was at a little shop. These are... So, ouch, I get a little sliver. These are just some taper candle holders. There's two of them. And they're nice and heavy, but it'll go good on my mantle for fall. What's in here? Oh, I think, I think, um, these were in here. And then they had this on clearance. And it will fit perfectly on my mantle for autumn. And it says, autumn, autumn whispered to the wind, I fall but always rise again. And this is a quote, and I can't remember who it was by. So I thought this was really neat. It's made with some very uh, rustic vintage wood, and it was marked down. So let's see how much I spent, shall we? Uh, this was 30% off. And these were $2.95 a piece. So I spent $21 on all of this. So that was exciting. And then I don't have a lot. I went to one Dollar Tree in Canada. Uh, just because there wasn't a very convenient other ones. I'm going back up in April and I will get some more. And I'm going to the Toronto area this time. Um, and most of the stuff I get at the Canadian store, you can get in the States. This store that I went to just happened to have a lot of stuff. Um, but I have seen this here. And this is one of these containers that I love for storing cookies and stuff, if I'm going to gift them especially. But this is an airtight container, so it really works out well. And the size, also like lunch meat and stuff, this would be great to have in the fridge. And it has the gnomes, which are adorable. So I grabbed that. Actually, I'll put some craft stuff because I got a lot of crafty stuff. Um, I found this sign, which I think we have here. Uh, I haven't seen it. It's just a window. But my thought was if I take this metal off, I can hang a cross stitch like here or here or all around the middle and it would stand up on its own. So I thought, well, that was fun. So I grabbed that to put cross stitches in. Um, well, I got this. Now I know we have these, we have the flexible stencils, but I've not seen this one. And it says coffee is my spirit animal. Duh. I mean, right. So I grabbed that. Um, oh yeah, they had some pretty fantastic stuff in the crafter section. I'm trying to find the other things. There, there's a lot of little bitty stuff in here. Okay, so they had, here they are. Um, they had, these are stitch markers that you can use for like knitting or crochet. And they're like little safety pins, but they're plastic. I use them all the time. And these come in a little container. And I thought that was great for crochet. And then they had these, and I have never seen these. But if you're doing multiple colors at one time, you put this on your finger, and it feeds your yarn through your finger. It's a finger guide. 
and you get four of them and they look like they're all the same, but you run your yarn underneath and it keeps them separated, especially if you're holding like more than one at a time. So that was interesting. I've never seen that before. I know I purchased these before, but I love them. So I got them again. These are just the little clipboard, which I think would make the best gift tag if you have like an office gift exchange. Because duh, it's a clipboard. And this is from, Cra it's Craft Decor, uh, Multicraft from Ottawa. So I think this is a Canadian that we don't, I don't, I've never seen these at my store. I'm not saying we don't get them. I've just never seen them here. But I have gotten them before in Canada. So I thought these would be perfect for like a work gift tag. Um, I've never seen these craft cards. Now these, you get three pieces. Definitely one of the cards is, okay, they're all the same. So you get three cards and three envelopes. But you can put like colored paper behind here and make your own card. You know, like gift or um, to send somebody. It's a blank card and it comes with a matching envelope. Um, I have not seen these at my store. I can say that. These are definitely um, Greenbrier. So it could just be that I have not seen them at my store because I don't see everything. Uh, this is the same. Now, this is Forever in Time brand, which is a multi-craft. And again, I think it is only in Canada, but it's, these are like folding bones, scoring tool folding bones. So you use it to like score your paper and fold, especially if you're using like a scoring table. And I'm wondering if they don't sell the scoring boards at some of the Dollar Trees. I'm not seeing them for card making, but I was thinking also it would be great for pottery, for like cleaning up and getting down into the deeper spots. But I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree, so I thought that was super fun. Um, they have these craft cylinders, so they're cardboard cylinders. These are definitely Greenbrier. I've never seen them, but you get eight, uh, I'm sorry, six, and they're about a foot long. So I think they're like a hard cardboard, but definitely could do some fun stuff with these opposed to dowel rods. These are lighter. So I grabbed those just for fun to see what we can make because I would not seen them before. Um, I grabbed, these are hit or miss at my stores here. I know I can get them here because I have, but I needed some more for um, the decorative pins that I made for my retreat. I'm gonna be putting putting those on my Etsy shop and I needed some more packaging. I'm just gonna sell what I have left for like $5 a piece. So check out the Etsy shop, but I needed some more of these bags. So I just got those for myself. I mean, it's all for myself, but for um, my shop. Um, this is new this year or new to me this year. It's definitely from the Christmas collection. It is a galvanized polar bear. Like what? And then they had a reindeer. I know. I'm like, these are totally adorable. Um, they're a little big for ornaments. I think they're just considered decor. But could you imagine like attaching this to something? I don't know. We're going to figure it out. And I think this is like winter as far as I'm concerned and not necessarily just Christmas. Yes, they both have bows. I don't hate the bows. I may fix the bows. We'll see. Um, and they're pretty sturdy. Like these are definitely sturdy. So you could seriously do something fun with these. And I love it. I love the polar bear. I like the deer, although his face is a little strange. I don't understand the face. But I like them both. So I grabbed those. Apparently I got more than I thought. They just got a lot of stuff in bags. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I ordered one of these on Timu. And one of you peep, one of you lovely folks told me what it's a dupe for. But I can't remember. It's a definitely a dupe bag. But they have this at the Dollar Tree. I think it was cheaper than Timu. Now they only have them in purple. Uh, let's see what this brand is. This is 
Um, it's imported into Canada. So it's an import, but it's one of these, it's the same bag I got in pink from Timu. And these are great travel. And I can't remember the, the brand that it's a dupe of. It's a cosmetic bag or really any bag you want. I love them because they are like rubber lined. And so if something were to spill, it's not gonna get all over my luggage. But I think it's adorable. I grabbed two. I figured Sarah would need one. So I grabbed two of these or I could gift. I don't know. Tell me again who I'm dupe, who that's a dupe for, because I don't remember. Oh, I know why this bag is heavy. Um, I grabbed two of these. This is the Canada Dry uh, Sugar Free Cranberry, which I know they sell here in the States, but it's like once I get it, it's gone. Like once they're in the stores and I have a hard time finding it locally, which I need to start looking for. But I've never seen them in the small bottles before, so I grabbed two just because to bring home. Uh, because I feel like I need these in my life. I, and I drank one while I was up there. I'm not a huge soda drinker, but I love this during Thanksgiving, Christmas time. Because it's festive, you know. It's festive. All right, now we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Just a couple more things. Um, I picked up for pottery some of these little sponges to help clean up my engine. I was like at pottery class. I'm like, I need some little makeup sponges because well, who doesn't? But so sometimes you just need to clean up little spots and detailed stuff. And I'm like, this is perfect for that. And then I can just wash it and clean it. So you get three, they're great for makeup. And I'm 100% using those for pottery. Because um, I grabbed this. It's interesting to me. This is also multi-craft. It's a chalkboard wood slice. You only get one, but there's chalkboard on both sides. So you could do a double-sided ornament. They're showing it like a table setting, like to mark a table or something, but you could really do anything you want on this chalkboard uh, material including like permanent marker. So I thought that was fun. I mean, who doesn't need that? Um, I found this, so we were talking, I the other day I found diamond painting. They have diamond painting keychains and it's a coffee cup. Duh. Now, if I don't love the colors, I have another diamond painting kit that I can pull out the colors from and create what I want. And it does come with all the stuff that you need in here. And it is for Greenbrier, but isn't that adorable? Who doesn't need that for a keychain? I do. And the last thing I got are sprinkles for Halloween cupcakes. I'm making cupcakes to take to my office on Halloween uh, for my team. And they had, these are just like the hard candies and they're pretty big. So we have, I'm trying to see what they are. Looks like, I don't know what these triangular things are. I don't, oh, ears. Cat ears. Cat eyes. Okay, hats. They're to make like cats or witchy cats. They're for cats. So you get ears, eyes, a hat, and sprinkles to do, oh, to do whiskers. Yeah, they're pretty long sprinkles, so you can do whiskers. So I might do some cat cupcakes. And then this this set here is just a variety of black and purple sprinkles. But this will be fun for sure. Yeah, I'll make cats and sprinkles. I'm doing my thumbnail. So that's everything I got at the Dollar Tree from Canada. I, I love going there. I wish they had, um, I'm just putting everything back in the bag. I wish they had other Dollar Trees closer to where I was at in a better neighborhood. But I was in a, 
I mean, obviously, you know, it was in a not so great neighborhood and there really wasn't a Dollar Tree close to me. And then the one on the way out. So I was on a highway that was kind of in the middle of nowhere and I didn't really want to go into a town. But in April, when I go up, there's a ton of Dollar Trees around where I'll be in the Toronto Brampton area. So I'll buy much more stuff while I'm up there. So that is everything. I'm trying to see. Is that everything? That is everything I got at the Dollar Tree in Tam um, Tampa. No, girl, I was not in Tampa. I've got a cold. Uh, the Dollar Tree in Orlando. Canada. I was in Canada. That's everything I got from the Dollar Tree in Canada. I'm going to have some more coffee. Uh, check out my Etsy store if you haven't. I have my planners, but I also have sticker packs and I'm going to be putting up those decorative pins. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul from Canada and you have a good day. Bye.